Welcome back to command line interface walkthrough part two. In the first part, we talked about the different command levels. We talked about the question mark and the tab key. We will have a look at more command levels right here. First of all, what you see here in my command window here is that I get an error message about licensing. This is just because I use the ACV, the virtual firewall that anyone can use. Just download it from Cisco and use it, but it is quite limited in functionality. You will get a warning message every now and then, but you can use it for lab and for training. We have the command line interface with the user exec mode here. We enable to get into the enable mode or privileged exec mode. There are also more available modes. The most common one and most useful is the global configuration mode. If I press the question mark here, I will see that one of the commands here is configure. I can use the configure command to get into the command line interface configuration mode. By doing that, I enter configure and see what options I have. I have an option here called terminal. Configure terminal is the command to get into the configuration mode. You will never ever use the command configure session. You can forget about it, but it is always there and we don't have to deal with it here. You use the command configure terminal, learn to use it, and you can abbreviate it with con, t-u-n, c-u-n is unique, c-o is not unique, c-o-n is unique, and t. You normally say conf t. That's the most common way to write the command. Conf t gets you into the global configuration mode. I press enter. This notice, I will only get the first time I configure a firewall. We can say yes or no or whatever. It doesn't really matter right here. Forget about it. I get back again. Conf t, get into the configuration mode. I didn't get the notice here. You can see that the prompt changed. Now it says host name between parentheses. It says config. Config means that you are in global configuration mode. Here you have other commands available. Press enter here and you will probably see hundreds of commands available at this stage. And this is where you do all configuration in configuration mode. Sometimes you get further into sub configuration modes. For example, if I want to configure an interface, I enter interface and the interface name. Press question mark here to see what options I have. I can see I can write gigabit ethernet question mark zero question mark slash question mark zero as an example interface gigabit ethernet zero slash zero when i press enter here i can see that i get into a sub configuration mode it's called interface configuration mode config dash if means that now i am in a mode where i configure one interface whatever i do at this stage i configure this interface called gigabit ethernet zero slash zero i can press enter to see that i have other commands available here i can press q here and I can see if I press exit here, I get back one step from the interface configuration mode to global configuration mode. I can press exit again to get back to the enable mode. And I can press exit to get one step further back. So whenever I press exit, I will get back one step. In this case, from interface configuration mode to global configuration mode to privilege exec mode and back to user exec mode. Okay, so I have four different stages here, and there are more, but these are the four most common ones. Let's go into the enable mode, which is where you do all configuration. One of the most common commands is the show command. For the show commands, there are literally hundreds of different sub commands. You can do show and a lot of stuff. The most common command is to show run. Show run is an abbreviation for show running config. Show run lists the current configuration in its complete form. Show run lists the entire configuration in the firewall line by line. And you can see here we have interface configuration. We have a lot of interface configurations. We have a lot of timeout commands, crypto commands. We have a lot of SSH commands. We have policy maps. We have service policy and so on. Show run lists the entire configuration. However, if I want to list only part of the configuration in the firewall, I can use the show run and a keyword representing that part of the configuration. For example, I can use the show run interface. Here, I only list the interface configuration part of the configuration. Show run interface lists only the interfaces and their configuration and nothing else. I can do that 
with a lot of stuff in the firewall. Let's see, there is something called Xlate, XLATE. I can do show run Xlate, only see those lines. I can do show run timeout to only see those lines. Show run ARP, show run ICMP, and so on. Show run policy map, and so on. These are the most useful parts of the CLI and how to use it. You jump between different command levels. You use the question mark, you use the tab key, and you use exit to get back one step. You do show run to list the configuration and so on.